Newsroom workflows are complicated, but the software you use to manage them shouldn't be. In this video, you'll learn how to install a pre-configured instance of Superdesk, so you can see for yourself why we think it's the best open source newsroom management software anywhere. I'm Greg from Source Fabric. Over the next few minutes, I'll walk you through how to set up a demo instance of Superdesk using a few easy commands. I've pasted a link to the full script of this video in the description below, which includes all of the codes and prompts you'll need to get up and running. To get started, we need to configure Superdesk to work on our machine. Typically, a newsroom using Superdesk would require large amounts of server space, but in this demo, we will use our own computers to drive a scaled-down version of the CMS. The first task is to create a plain text file saved in a new folder on your desktop. Do not create it in a cloud folder like Dropbox or OneDrive. It must be saved locally. We're going to be running Superdesk through a Docker image, which essentially means that the server and client will be pulled from the internet via the Docker hub and then run on our machine. The file we create supplies Docker with instructions to get running. The name of the folder doesn't matter, just as long as you can find it easily. We'll call our folder Docker for Superdesk Docker. The file, however, must be called docker-compose.yml and saved in the newly created folder in the .yml extension. Do not use .txt or .doc. Next, download and install the free Docker desktop via the link in the video description. After the Docker download is complete, find the program and open it. If you are running on Linux, you may need to install Docker Server and Docker Compose command line tools instead. Links to those solutions are also pasted below. Locate the folder and plain text file created in step one. Copy and paste this code into the file. Again, it's essential that you save it as a plain text with no formatting. We've put a link to the code in the video description below. Open a command line on your computer. To do this on a Mac, hold down Command plus Space and type Terminal. On a Windows machine, open the Start menu and search for Command Prompt. We need to locate the correct directory where we stored the plain text file with the .yml extension. If you save the folder on the desktop, type CD Desktop to change directory to the desktop. Now type ls, which will list the computer files in that directory. After hitting Enter, you should see a list of files and folders that are on your desktop, including the Docker folder created in step one. Now type cd docker in the terminal command line. This will change the directory to the sd docker folder. After you do that, typing ls should return a list of files, including docker-compose.yml, which you created in step one. Type docker-compose up in the command line. This will download Superdesk's server, client, and dependencies and run them. Give the configuration setup two to three minutes to complete. You must have Docker installed and running for this command to work. If you need help, return to step two. To test that the installation was done correctly, open a new tab in your browser and go to localhost colon 8080. Hit enter. Do not close your terminal window as you do this. It must remain open for the duration of your Superdesk session. If Superdesk was installed properly, you should see this screen. Now a quick note, some browsers may return a can't provide secure connection error. In that case, switch to incognito mode and reload the page. Open another terminal window and navigate to the SD Docker folder by following steps five and six. In some terminals, you'll be able to do this by opening another tab. Otherwise, open another terminal window and navigate to the folder again. Do not close the original terminal. In this tab, you need to run two more commands to complete the Superdesk setup. First, you need to initialize some data for Superdesk to be useful. To do this, copy and paste the following code, and then hit enter. Wait until you see the command line before proceeding. Next, you need to create an administrator user for the installed Superdesk instance. To do this, copy and paste the following. The codes for both steps are pasted in the video description below. With these final commands done, you're now ready to give Superdesk a spin. Return to your browser and the Superdesk login page at localhost colon 8080. Enter the username, which is admin, all lowercase, and the password, admin2020, with an uppercase A, and then hit enter. One final note, this is not a production-ready setup of Superdesk. 
When you stop and remove the Docker containers or close your terminal windows, any data you create will be permanently deleted. So with that, the doors to a new digital newsroom are now open for you to explore. Take a look, kick the tires, and let us know what you think. And thanks for your interest in Superdesk. I'm Greg from Source Fabric. Thanks for watching. <laughs>